Jeff Duncan. He is uh, the uh, beat writer for the Pelicans, New Orleans Times, Picayune. Congratulations, Jeff. You won last night. Thanks, Dan. Yeah, the city's still trying to still trying to figure this thing out. I, I don't think most people in New Orleans right now truly believe what happened last night. I think they, they think it's an absinthe induced uh, <laughs> figment of their imagination. Where were you last night when you heard that announcement? I was out on the lakefront in New Orleans on Lake Pontchartrain, and the entire restaurant uh, burst <laughs> off of, out of its seats. People were hugging and celebrating. Dan, that doesn't happen in May in New Orleans with basketball. That's something you'd see at a Saints game, not with a Pelicans um, storyline. It was amazing. Uh, people were pulling out their cell phones and um, you know taking selfies. Uh, I, I haven't seen anything quite like it regarding basketball, and I've been here two decades. We, we found that Zion, he seems like the ultimate team player. He was, he was at Duke. He was a great team player. I just hope he, he – the city will envelop him. I hope he gets – that he has an open mind to want to, to, want to play there because it's – they're wonderful people and it's a wonderful city. And uh, it could be, you know, the start of something really spectacular. I just don't want it to be – a redo of 2012 where, you know, Anthony Day or, you know, he was in this situation too. And then somehow, you know, wanted to get out of town. Well, I think Dan, the one thing that Zion Williamson has over Anthony Davis is first of all, his game has got such sizzle to it. It uh, He's got a radiant personality. Like you said, a very humble kid, which is amazing considering yeah. all the hype and hoopla that accompanied his career. Uh, everyone you talk to, by all accounts, he's very selfless and humble. And I think he's going to, like you said, uh, immediately be embraced by New Orleans fans. He's the perfect player in this market at this time uh, for the city of New Orleans. Uh, this is a traditional football town. Basketball has never really taken off all the way back. You'd have to go back to the 70s when Pistol Pete was here before you really found someone that the city wrapped itself around and love on the basketball court. I think this kid will be that player because of that, the way he plays in his game. He's a, he's a, like Elvis on the basketball court and new Orleans kind of needs that. It's a big event town. Uh, it, it loves its superstars. Drew Brees, of course, in football, they embrace Reggie Bush. And I think Zion Williams will be that in basketball. He certainly has the, the best opportunity to do that here. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune into Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV, stream for free on BR Live, or download the Dan Patrick Show app.